Well, I definitely opened the wrong end. Woo! Dang! Oh, I think I did it backwards. This is for all you weirdos like me. Hey guys, Sid Survival Guide. <laughs> Sid Survival Guide here, bringing you survival food. These are some of the things that I have collected over the last year as my interests in bushcraft and outdoors and survival and prepping, all of that has increased. And I have tried Adventure House meals, I have tried one of these emergency food rations, and I will talk about them in a minute, and I have tried the banana chips from the ready wise because I didn't want to break into anything that I might need until I'm ready to try these things and I have these chef five minute meals so today I'm going to be trying the beef stew with you it has its own water packet heats itself everything and I'm going to talk about these a little bit being freeze dried just adding water this one very difficult all right well let's get right into the video okay just like most people know Fan favorite, Adventure Mills. These are really good. Most of the time, this is two servings and will generally feed two people. Generally does really good. I've got a video that I will link uh, somewhere and you can check it out where for Father's Day, we sat and had us an Adventure House meal. And I have these five minute meals. I have never tried these. And one of the reasons that I bought these and all and this many is because I don't want to spend money purchasing something that I'm not going to enjoy when the world ends. When I go camping, any of these situations, I still want to be tasting something good. So let's get right into the beef stew. We'll talk about some stuff while, uh, while I open it up. Because right here we've got spaghetti and meatballs, beef stroganoff, and chicken pasta parmesan. All three of these. Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. Chicken teriyaki, chicken and dumplings, beef stew, beef stroganoff, chicken fried rice, chili mac with beef. Adventure House probably has one of the largest selections. And then you move over to these right here. You have got, uh, it says six days for one person at 1800 calories a day. And I'd say that in, under, in a survival situation, you could probably stretch that out a little bit and get whatever it is you need. I don't know, six days could probably be 10 if you did it right. And now, I haven't tried these, but I have seen them. I opened one up and checked it out. Instructions say, carefully open box along perforated line on the end of the box, remove all contents. Well, I definitely opened the wrong end, oh well. Place meal pouch on heating pad, insert into oven bag, pour all water into bag, fold opening under and insert heating bag into oven box, close box. All right. So, heating pad oven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take open this up. Oh look, it even comes with a spoon and salt and everything. I don't need that. Perfect. All right. Here is our Water, do not mix. All right. Open envelope containing activator heating pads. Place the heating pad on styrofoam plate. Open activator and pour on heating pad. Place meal on heating pad. Reinsert into box, allow five to seven minutes to heat meal. All right. So while we've got this five to seven minutes, we're gonna take a look at some of the other things. Look, we've already got steam. It's steaming. All right, we got some things in this ready wise, a chocolate dairy delight. I'm gonna guarantee 
that this is, uh, it says combine three tablespoons chocolate dairy delight with one cup room temperature water start to dissolve. Most things like this uh, remind me of the chocolatey beverages that you got as a kid. So I'd say that's probably pretty good. Now, I don't, I don't know for sure what I personally would be a uh, whey alternative, milk alternative. I'm not sure what I'd be putting those towards uh, when it comes. It's probably got something to do with this, whatever it is. Oh, woo, dang. Look at that. Dang. That's crazy. All right, you also got, you got saving stroganoff, creamy pasta with vegetables, yogurt, pudding, maple brown sugar, granola, uh, just uh, dried peas, corn. Now this thing right here, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. There should be some kind of something that tells you how to eat this because we opened one and ate it and if you guys would like i'll make another video on each one of these products each one if you if you'd like just leave make sure to leave it in the comments below and if you are enjoying the video and this is hot enough for you make sure to like and subscribe we're looking at about three more minutes and i think it'll be enough it looks like the flavors we don't have are beef chili with beans, chicken cacciatore, three cheese omelet with beef chili and beans, vegetable lasagna. That's the ones we ain't got. But uh, uh, these are cheap. You can pick these up at Walmart for like four bucks a piece. And for an entire day's calories, 2400 That's impressive. That's more than what this is allowing you in a day. So it's hard to say one is better than the other. I'd say for 100% sure, this one is harder to eat. Hopefully this doesn't, I'm gonna let it do its own thing so I don't mess that box up on that one. This is the one that I opened and didn't wanna eat. I'm not a big fan of pastas, but I went ahead and got four kind of different flavors to see what all I could do with it. This is impressively hot. I'll be honest, it is just, destroying the box I think it's supposed to stay closed though because the other side has got that perforated line and you can just dip it back down into the box right here that is crazy it's about to rain here these camp meals and survival meals and stuff are kind of new to me and I've actually been trying to dehydrate some food uh, using a like a ninja. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Kind of like a ninja. It's an air fryer. A dehydrated tomato, a yellow bell pepper, a yellow onion, a white onion, and I've turned them into powder. And I'm gonna see what I can do with them from there. Uh, those that's not. And I have dehydrated completely. Not just where you would add water and have whatever that is. Again, I have broken it all the way down to a powder form. And. Uh, got some things in the works all right so our steam has quit all right guys here we go you guys might hear some rain and thunder and light well you probably won't hear the lightning but definitely hear the thunder in the background i got uh and i'm not talking about my kids they're back there too though look they're connected that's something i've never seen just add them both at the same time super hot super cool look Oh, it's, it's definitely, melted that, that's crazy, alright, now I can see this being a serving, alright, we are going to do the salt and pepper, because the instructions say to, Within minutes, steam will generate. Wait five minutes, depending on outside temperature. Carefully remove bag. Oven bag with meal pouch from box. Stir and tear open the meal. Stir and bon appetit. Oh, I think I did it backwards. I was supposed to put it on like that. I did it upside down. I'd say it still... I'd say it still worked. So... The beef stew. Here we go. 
Uh, well, first impressions looks really good. Super hearty meat content, it looks like. I gotta get all that juice. This is the kind of guy that I am. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Huh? You want salt and pepper? It? Look how big that piece of meat is. It's pretty good. There may not be many, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one up and stir it. Actually, it looks really good. Hopefully, you can see that really well. That's really good looking. It's got a really good meat content. There's a couple more big pieces of meat. Salt and pepper ratio is probably perfect. Napkin intact. Let's give it a shot. Meat and some potatoes. A little piece of what looks like celery maybe. Okay. First off, Right off the rip, tastes like a canned hearty beef stew. Really good. Now the meat, had, it took a little bit longer to chew it than the rest of the, the items on the spoon, but I think it's because the size of the meat. So cutting up the meat might be a little bit better when it comes to dispersing the flavor. But I'll tell you what, Yeah, that's good. Mm. This is for all you weirdos like me. Mm. You got carrots and peas. Is that onion? Potatoes, carrots, celery, and peas with a mild spice aroma. Truly a customer favorite. I mean, calories is 180 calories. 5% fat. 10% cholesterol. 25% sodium. 7% carbs. 11% fiber. 18 grams. 18 grams of protein. Why ain't that on the front? Why doesn't it say on the front that there's 18 grams of protein in this? That's great. That's crazy. That's a lot. Not carbs and protein. That's what you need. 18 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein. I feel like those are high numbers for one of these little meals. 11 grams of protein in beef stroganoff and noodles. 12% carbs. So these things have got this, that back there beat. That's crazy. Mm. I wonder if they all have that. 18. <clears throat> 21. Twenty one grams of protein in the beef stroganoff and fifteen in the spaghetti and meatballs. The lowest one's fifteen. That's crazy. Mmm. I can't stop eating it. I don't have any complaints. The gravy that makes up the beef stew, really good, really good. It should come with some crackers or some kind of soft bread that's packageable. Oh, very good. Look, you have to excuse me 
but I give that right there. Self-contained, self-heating, large amount of protein. This right here, Amazon in the link. This is amazing. So good. Come with everything I needed. Cleaned up just like that. And I'm done. That's wonderful. Came with its own water. That's super big. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out any of my social links. Check out my Patreon. I would love to do more videos like this. If you would like a more in-depth review of any of the items on this table, you make sure and just leave it in the comments below. Hit me up an email. And that's it. Sid Survival Guide.